Did you know that Gautama Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, was once a prince who left all his luxuries behind in search of enlightenment? Quite a fascinating start, don't you think? Delving into our first fact, Gautama Buddha wasn't always known by this name. Born in the 6th century BC, he was named Siddhartha Gautama. Siddhartha, in the ancient Indian language, means he who achieves his aim, a fitting name for someone who would later change the course of religious history. Moving forward, we come to the second fact. Siddhartha was born into royalty. His father was the king of the Shakya clan in what is now modern-day Nepal. He had all the luxuries one could imagine, but these worldly pleasures didn't satisfy him. This dissatisfaction leads us to our third fact. At the age of 29, Siddhartha abandoned his royal life, including his wife and son, to embark on a spiritual journey. This stage of his life is known as the Great Departure. Our fourth fact revolves around his quest for enlightenment. Siddhartha followed a path of extreme asceticism, nearly starving himself in the process. However, he soon realized that this was not the path to enlightenment and adopted what he called the Middle Way, a path of moderation away from the extremes of self-indulgence and self-mortification. Fact number five takes us to the moment of his enlightenment. After meditating under a Bodhi tree for 49 days, Siddhartha finally achieved enlightenment at the age of 35. It was at this point that he became the Buddha, which means the awakened one. Next, the sixth fact. Buddha spent the rest of his life teaching others about the path to enlightenment, a journey to inner peace and liberation from suffering. These teachings are now known as Dharma. Our seventh fact is about the Sangha, the monastic order established by Buddha. It was one of the first orders to admit women, making Buddhism one of the first religions to advocate for gender equality. Fact number eight is about Buddha's death. At the age of 80, Buddha died, or as Buddhists prefer to say, entered parinirvana. His last words were, all composite things pass away. Strive for your own liberation with diligence. The ninth fact is about the spread of Buddhism. After Buddha's death, his teachings spread far and wide, from India to China, Japan, Southeast Asia, and eventually to the West. Our final fact, number 10, is that Buddha's teachings continue to inspire and guide millions of people around the world today, making Buddhism one of the world's major religions. To summarize, we've learned that Gautama Buddha, born as Prince Siddhartha, embarked on a spiritual journey that led him to enlightenment and the founding of Buddhism. His teachings, advocating the middle way and liberation from suffering, have influenced countless lives and continue to do so today. From his royal birth to his simple death, his life was a testament to his teachings of humility, compassion, and inner peace. Isn't it amazing how one individual's quest for truth could have such a profound impact on humanity? It truly makes one ponder about the power of determination and the pursuit of enlightenment.